Hello, this is Neil from iPaintGirls.com. Check out my link in the description for many free tutorials and art uh, from digital painting to drawing lessons to photo manipulation techniques and photo editing techniques. Also check out my other website which is in, which is in the description if you want to learn how to write better, uh, write novels and so forth, screenplays. I have a bunch of free tutorials at masteredit.net. Let's get started. What we're going to do in this video is turn Ashton Kutcher into a demon. We're going to demonize him. Uh, it's be pretty cool. So first thing we're going to do, what I always like to do, is start off by left-clicking the image, the background image, and dragging it down to the new icon. That way, it makes a new layer. This way, just in case I mess up, I have something to go back to, or if I need to take from the original, I always can. So it's always best to work on something that's not the original. That way, you have a backup. Okay, getting started. The first thing I'm going to do is go in and fix up the bumps in his face. I'm going to use the healing brush tool. I'm gonna left click. I'm gonna use Alt, and I'm gonna click somewhere on the image that looks nice. I'm just gonna just kind of get rid of some of the bumps. What this will also do is get rid of some of the um, over exposure that's done on the image. So I'm doing this quickly. And let's see, so getting rid of all this, as you can see, it's pretty easy. Alright, and then finally I'll go down here and I'll just uh, smooth all this right here out as well. So notice it not only gets rid of the bumpiness there, but also gets rid of the overexposure. Finally what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a soft brush. I'm using a tablet. I'm just going to lightly brush. I grab the skin color next to it and just lightly brush that color over. Alright, there you go. So that looks good. Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I need to uh, change his facial color. So let's see, I think I'm going to make another copy just in case I mess up. Go to adjustment and, well actually I need to make another copy anyway because what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go to hue and saturation. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the saturation down to something like so. And then I'm going to lighten them up like that. I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and Curves, and boost the shadows back up. Okay, I like that better for the, for the demon look. Next I'm going to do is I'm going to take Another well, either I'm just I'm just gonna make a copy, or just make a new layer, that, but by left clicking this icon here, I'm gonna go to my swatches. I'm gonna fill this in with white. Drop down. I'm gonna go to soft light for that layer. Turn that down just a little bit like so. Take my eraser brush and erase everything that isn't gonna be his skin. Although some of some of the stuff I will actually leave, or rather, when I'm erasing this, I want to make sure that the cloth is nice and dark. I need to go in and erase for his eyes, eyebrows, things that I know wouldn't really be affected by his skin being pale. Next I'm going oops, I'm gonna just kinda of erase all around his eyes here, showing that, you know, he's kinda of like got dark eyes like he's been up for a while. Alright, so he's starting to look cool. I might not want that drastic of paleness, so something like that. I'm gonna merge this down. Next I'm gonna make his eyes dark. 
I'm going to do this by using a pin, my pin, that is my pin, um, what was I thinking, damn it, my brain, <laughs> anyway, my pin, I guess, brush, aw oh, man, I want to do this on a separate layer, so let's redo that. So the fastest way to do this is to get the outline color that I want, which is black in this case, and then I'm going to use my expand option. For what expand does, I'll show you over here, what because that's a shortcut I made. I'll show you exactly what that shortcut does right now. I need to have just the black part of his eye. This side over here, actually, I need to fix because I didn't. I actually colored in that part of his eye, and I didn't want to. I want that part still showing. Right. Okay. So basically, what it is is I put the um, this tool here, the, the magic wand tool, select in here, go to select, modify, expand by two pixels. Then I go to edit, fill with the foreground color, and OK. So that's the shortcut I record to make that action. That way I don't have to do it every time, because I use that action quite a bit. I can see here I don't like the way it looks, so I'm going to erase some of this. OK, so now it looks like he has black eyes. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tool, make a new layer, like so. I'm going to take one of these kind of gray colors, soft brush, kind of big, and instead I'm going to use the gradient tool, make sure I use this that has a transparency. It's not a big deal that it comes out too dark because I can turn it way down. I definitely want it to be visible, so something like that. Do the same thing with, well, I can go ahead and merge that down. Do the same thing with the other side, make a new layer. Like this. Turn that way down. They look kind of flat right now, but that's okay, because now I'm going to change that by adding some gray highlight here, like so. I'm going to take white now, add the brightest part of that. I might even take this gray color and see what it looks like if I kind of have a slight eye shape in here. I'm just kind of curious. No, I think I'll just stick with that. I'm going to take a slightly, or a lot darker, rather, not slightly, but a lot darker of a Yeah, I like that right there. Okay, so now he has black eyeballs, which look pretty dope. I'm going to take this layer, I'm going to make it like that, make a duplicate of it. Right, then I'm going to go to this tool over here, which is going to be the burn tool. Protect tones, exposure, range, shadows. Make this a little bit smaller. I might even turn my exposure down to 30. This way I can like slowly build up. Alright, make it a lot bigger. I'm just gonna kinda pull in this right here. OK, 
Okay, next I want to kind of shape this part of us. Wow, that's like really super strong. So I'm going to turn that way down. I just want to slightly. Uh, it's not coming out smooth. This take it takes a lot of practice to be able to get this part smooth without messing it up. You have to just like lightly push over it. And I'm trying to think if I want all this right here. So now I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, Curves. I want to get all this darker like this. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Hue and Saturation. I'm going to turn down the saturation some more. But I don't want that affecting the background. And the reason why I want the background to be more saturated, that is his clothing, I'm going to go ahead and go to, the reason why I want that is that way it makes him look more pale. So it's in, in comparison, and I'll go to image adjustments and uh, let's see here, curves. I want the shadows to be deeper, like so. Alright, so the next thing is I might add um, image adjustments. I'll go, this is his eye layer. I'm going to go to color balance. And I just want to see what it'll look like if I add a little bit of red highlights. Not too much, just a bit so that kind of matches the image more. Right, so that looks pretty cool. Just to see what it'll look like, I'm going to take this and make it even darker. I'll go to Levels. Right, something that looks pretty cool. Finally, what I can do is, uh, if well, maybe I can grab this. Yeah, cool, it works. Like that, and then I'm going to take, let's say, like a, a red color. I'm just curious what it'll, what it'll curious what it'll look like if I color in. Why doesn't it let me color in all of it? Oh, that's why. So above this layer, I'll go ahead and color this in. Then grab black. I want to be careful to leave some... I didn't mean to actually create that thing. Don't show extras. Like this, and then um, I also want to show some lighting along here. This will be a rim light. Also what this allows me to do is get rid of the artifacts there on the edge. Then I'll take a lighter color and this will be the parts that I'm just kind of, I'm lightly going over it with my just back and forth, just very lightly, slowly building up the intensity. And finally I'll take white, like that. Okay, it looks pretty awesome. 